Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Star's Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Baby, don't mind me, okay? I'm going to have to go to the store to get some glue to put this nail on. But what I'm not about to do is allow uh, the enemy, okay, and his little forces that caused me to lose my little nail glue to cause me to not come up on here and record these videos, okay? We're going to go ahead and get these messages out. And I'm assuming that they're going to be important and good because, baby, they tried it. Anyways... <laughs> The message I heard is, my bad because you losing, your bad because you losing. <clears throat> the scripture comes from Testament of the Twelve Patriarchs. The Testament of... Hold on. Gotta find the name. The Testament of Judah, the fourth son of Jacob and Leah. 26 and 4. And Judah, when he had said these things, fell asleep, and his sons did according to everything he commanded them. And they buried him in Hebron with his fathers. So here's the message. Okay, I know that it sounds like this is going to be a gruesome message. And I guess it kind of is, but it's not. Um, God said, you did not follow the instructions that he gave you. So this is somebody you are upset. It's like you're angry with God that something did not turn out the way that you thought it should have, the way you wanted it to, the way that you wish that it would, the way that you inspired for it to turn out. Um, maybe something bad happened. Um, for somebody, God is saying he had to clean your mess up for you because you were disobedient. You did not listen and you did what you felt like you wanted to do instead of what God commanded you to do. God said it's your fault. It's not his. My apologies to whoever this is for. God said don't apologize to them, but I'm just being real. God said that it's not a situation. You keep like you're trying to blame God for something that you created. You are the cause of your own misery. You are the cause of your own hardship. You are the cause of your own problems. It may make you upset. It may make you frustrated. But see, the important thing about realizing where we could have possibly did something wrong is I'm gonna give I'm gonna give y'all a full example, okay? Because like this is what the enemy don't want you to know. I'm pretty sure you're thinking to yourself, well. It's my fault. Why would the enemy not want that to come through? I'm going to tell you why. Because when you have a clear understanding that something was your fault, you then can take, um, not only uh, acknowledge the fact that it's your fault, but you can adjust your actions so that it won't happen again. You can adjust your actions so that it won't repeat itself. I had a history teacher that used to say all the time that she loved history. And the reason that she loved history so much is because if we ignore the past, they can then the things that happened in the past can repeat themselves. Really, like one of the realest statements, you know what I'm saying, that I ever heard. Mm remote all up in the way but that's one of the realest statements you know what i'm saying if you allow like if you ignore things that happened to you in your past you can possibly open up the door for the things that happened in your past to happen again so if you see that something didn't turn out well for you um newsflash it might be smart for you to not do that again you know what i'm saying that's kind of like if a child get in trouble for something you know what I'm saying? The objective of the punishment is so that the child will realize that when they do that thing, bad things happen. So, you know what? Maybe they shouldn't do that again. Now, some people are stubborn. Some people are hard-headed. And instead of them not repeating the offense, they decide to be more sneaky about it next time. God said, understand, this is not a situation where it was his fault. He told you not to do what you did and you did it anyway. Next time, follow the instructions. Like it said, his sons did according to everything he commanded them. God said you need to do according to everything that he is commanding you. And you won't have these problems. And the reason that the enemy don't want you to know this here is because if you sit around thinking to yourself that everything is God's fault and this wouldn't have happened if God wouldn't have this and this wouldn't have happened if God would have that and if God this, God that, God said this ain't even got like this ain't on him. 
It's not a situation where he didn't warn you. It's not a situation where he didn't tell you what to do. He gave you directions. And just because the directions were very faint, they seemed as if something you ain't want to do. They were something you didn't want to listen to. It was something you didn't like you. You were against it. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we look at situations and how they look. And we assume to ourselves, well, it looked like this, that, and the third. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Even though you hear God telling you not to do that, you're going to go ahead and do it anyway. God said, how can you get mad? How could you possibly get mad and then turn around and fix your mouth to say that this is God's doing? God said he ain't had no hand in this hill. This was your fault. You did this. And I'm like, once again... And go ahead and say, don't apologize. But I'm just like, I like what, like I said, this is an important message. I know a lot of people are not going to like this message. A lot of people are going to feel some kind of way about this message. Baby, do not allow the enemy to make you believe that this message is intended to hurt you in any shape, form, or fashion. It is intended to help you. Because obviously, if you got a job and every day you come in late, it's going to cause some problems for you. Obviously, if you in a relationship and your person keep catching you cheating, obviously, it's going to cause some problems for you. You can't get mad. Obviously, God did not tell you just because that woman was beautiful or that man was handsome don't mean that God wanted you to chase them down. Obviously, it, like, you know what I'm saying? Just because you, it, it's a certain, you know, you can get a breakfast deal or you can get better coffee if you stop before work don't mean that you got to wake up. You can't possibly think that you can wake up at the same time that you usually do. Climb out the bed, get dressed, and stop at a line that you know is going to take you an hour to get through and get to work on time every single day. And if you got a certain time that you're supposed to be there, that's what it is. Ain't no and ifs or buts about it. Ain't no changing about it. And I know some of you think like Star, but you at this point can work whenever you want. This may be true, but there was a time where I had to punch a clock. I'm just being real. And I feel like for whoever this is for, you know what I'm saying? Like God is saying, you are the cause of your own problems. You wouldn't even have to worry about it. That's just like you deciding that you're not going to study for a test. Every time it's time for you to test, to take a test for whatever course, you decide, you know what? I got this. I'm not going to study. I got this. I'm not going to study. I got this. I'm not going to study. Then it comes time for the test and you fail. What did you expect? Anyways, that's the message. That's the message. Whew. Whew anyways, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.